What's going on guys? Welcome back. Sid's here. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share the video around. I'm going to start this video off by saying my car right here, the Mark 5 GDI, is officially sold. There's been a deposit put down for it. It'll be picked up next week and that will be the end of it. Everything that I've done with that car, completely stock to what it is now, will be gone. And after that, we are grinding now to get the dream car that I am after, which is the S15, as I've mentioned probably many times before. To be honest, I can't wait. Definitely gonna say I'm gonna miss it, but you know, how could you like not spend a year on a car, working on it, putting like blood, sweat and tears into it, throwing all the money you have, fixing it, customizing it, modifying it, doing all of this, and not to miss it in the end. Of course it'll be missed, but it's for a better cause. But for now, it was raining yesterday. The skies are clear. It is nice, bright and blue. Well, not really clear, some clouds here and there, but it is honestly perfect temperature. So what we're gonna do now, because it is nice and sunny outside, you can hear the birds chirping and stuff like that. We're gonna take the scooter out. We're gonna go for an explore around the entire neighborhood, see what we can find, record anything interesting. There are a couple of places you can look through that I know that there are some common cars that go up and down and we'll just see what's out there and around. There it is, the Pride and Joy, the $39 Razor scooter that's already hit me three times in the ankle so far and that count is increasing constantly. We're gonna go jump on out of here, bring the equipment with us and just go for a huge explore through the neighborhood. But over here we have a wonderful hill for my scooter. So what we're gonna do is gonna have a fat scoot down there. Seems clear, no cars there. Let's go. Might be a bit windy for you guys. That was all done. Now the Evo, if I am correct, should be just over here. Ah, thought so. Always seen this Evo here. If I believe that is an Evo 7. I'm not 100%. Um, there is a slight difference between like, there's a difference between Evo 7, 8 and 9 obviously. But sometimes, obviously, you do get mixed up. I'm pretty sure that's a seven. I mean, every lower, like even um, eight, seven, six, they all become tame, tamer as they go. But then I, when you get to like nine, that's probably the most aggressive looking Evo in my opinion. Just as a better head off, there was a nice Sirocco R right here. Woo. That's nice. All right, so we're gonna head off straight down up in there, through there find anything interesting I'll show you guys if not we'll just swing past till we find something good all right first stops first straight in here we've got a pretty nice m4 pretty clean in my opinion Do some amount of Subarus going around. STI there, WRX there, but this, this is where it gets interesting. This one right here. I'll show you the other side. Cause holy crap, STI Forest. Check that shit out. Saw some Asian dude walk out. Of the car, he just parked here. Well, that's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, STI seats on the inside there. Fair bit of Saru's, I'm not gonna lie. Here we have another one. They're everywhere. They're pretty common here. XR50. There's that Subaru. STI. Some TMB rotiforms. 
neat. Pretty neat. I don't mind 86s. A lot of people like dislike them because they're a bit too common. I mean, yeah, they're common and all of that, but they look nice. But I would wouldn't own one. It's just a nice car to see around, especially when people have done them, done them up. Thirty-two, and there's fourteen. Zenki, Zenki, Kuki, Kuki. We should be. It even had a sticker spec Kuki. That's pretty nice. So you can pretty much almost guarantee every time you head down to this shop or around here, there is going to be some cars. Pretty much every single day, you can bet yourself that you're going to see something. Like just then, I wasn't able to catch her, but there was another Colt Rally Art that went by. So we're going to use her explore more further. I think I may know a couple of spots that are left with some cars. If not, we'll just cruise around. Alright, so I've been living in my area for like pretty much my whole life. And then this area that I found started from all the way over there, which is one of the roads that leave like a 7-Eleven. I was like, hold up, there's no trespassing sign, there's no nothing there. And it was like a straight strip all the way down here. I was like, what the hell is that? And so I come down here and it's like this free open car parking space that literally no one goes to. There's no like, um, pay for parking or anything like that. This shit's being loud next to me, so we're just gonna head off this way. But, yeah, like, how do I not know about this place? It's pretty sick, and just in there, straight there. Little places just behind these shops. It's pretty awesome. And back down there, where I just, where I was, would be such a good place to take photos. Like for example, even look at this. Straight up here, right behind everything. So far, we've gone through most of the common ones. Usually, there's a the reason why I took a right here is because I pass any time fitness, and that place usually you're pretty much bound to see any type of JDM or done up car there uh, but it's not really during the day you see it it's more closer to night or early in the morning you would see him what do we have down here of course alleyway that leads straight all the way to the end so we're gonna go around a little bit more see if we can find some cool stuff cool stuff this would be a little secret spot that I can bring the boys to one thing to note is not you're not really gonna see any type of supercars here it's more so um, like street done up cars from anything from like Jap to Euro to whatever on the odd occasion you would have something cool pass by Ferrari and Audi R8 but that's like a really odd occasion and this is from my experience from living here let's keep going though some of you are asking why is the rear different see because he did an R32 conversion it's a regular GDI but he got the R32 bumper with the twin exhausts at the back there but yeah to come across like an OEM R32 bumper is probably one of my most rarest things or well, actually it's not really rare it's just hella expensive but yeah it's pretty cool it's a perfect direct comparison as you saw the R32 there and on my way here it's a regular GDI This one I was about to say regular, not too regular. It's the Pirelli edition GDI. It's the difference between the Pirelli GDI and the regular GDI is it has the upgraded turbo, different seats in it, it has like a tire tread through them through the middle. Let's see if I can show that for you. Obviously it's specialized rims and it just has slightly different internal components. Let's see kind of hard to see through here but it has just like a tire tread through the middle of the seat and then the leather seats so they've got seat heating but that's the Pirelli edition pretty much the better version of the GDI obviously more expensive um, and that's what the rears look like on the GDI and the R32 look like that one we saw over there our auto one and that's what I did with mine I swapped the skirts skirts and the rear bumper to the Pirelli edition so it's colored and it doesn't look as horrible as the plastic version, which is pretty atrocious. Okay, so I think we're just gonna head back 
it's enough scooting for now. The sun's gonna slowly go down. As I say that, lovely Evo comes by. Nine. Nine or eight, god damn it. I never know. One day I'll know. It's because I don't you don't see them much around, so it's hard to be like, oh yeah, I know what one that is exactly. But yeah. I mean obviously it was if, if it was my car, I'd be like, yep, yeah, that's a Pirelli, that's this, that's that. But because uh yeah, I'd be able to notice it. Pretty much. For now. Most people get cars mixed up. So what we're gonna do was just gonna head off back that way if I find anything good. I'll show you guys if I don't I think that'll be it so I have a ride back home realize there's nothing really much else to look at I've looked at all the common places I normally look at so there's nothing else there if you guys enjoy that content want to see me going around the neighborhood terrorizing and just recording about everything stay tuned don't forget to subscribe always leave a like slap a comment share this shit because it's awesome <laughs> in my opinion I don't know about yours I will see you guys in the next one don't forget work hard and stay positive until you find your way back home